Hi everybody, welcome in. Uh, tonight we are going to play some Chill Town. This is a new to me game and a new game in general. Um, it's very early access. It actually was just released on the 22nd. Let me turn this down just a little. Let me know if it's too low for you guys. Um, but it was just released on the 22nd and I'm really looking forward to playing it. It kind of gives off like some Animal Crossing vibes for sure. I've only watched a couple of people play it. Hey, glad you found the place all right. Did our directions help? The GPS always sends people to the wrong building. Yeah, I went there once. All the employees have this weird smile on their faces. <gasps> Shy, welcome in. Thank you for the follow this evening. Thank you, thank you. I know, right? Who likes being perky all the time? I like keeping life as relaxed as possible. Me too. Ah. Anyways, I'm Mimi. And I'm Tutu. And we're your flight concierge here at Avent Guardian Airlines. <laughs> you found me! <laughs> yeah, it's me, and welcome in! We'll be walking you through the onboarding process to get you to your destination in no time. And once we get you set up for your flight, it'll be time for our afternoon coffee break. So, What's your name, friend? Let's just do Ashley. Birthday, let's see. Spring. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay, I see. So my birthday is on the 23rd, which makes it winter. Let's do an autumn birthday. Let's do 15, right in the middle. Awesome. Looks like we got you booked for a one-way trip to Chilltown. Whoa. Do you like to chill as much as we do? Soaking up the afternoon rays? Listening to lo-fi beats? Positive vibes? Letting the world drift away? Ah. Uh, it's always nice meeting another wanderer living on our frequency. Anyways, come stand in front of our camera to gather your physical characteristics. 
Okay. So I have read in some of the reviews that like the skin tones are really wonky and there's like this like lighting that is very unflattering. I do agree that about the light uh, so far. Um, I kind of like this one because all of these other ones have like a really harsh light to them. I guess not like these right here. Oh, that one's cute too. Don't want to be like a little angry. Yeah, let's do this one. Eye colors. I kind of want like some pink eyes. Let's do the pink eyes. Let's see, eyebrow color. Well, I have to figure out my hair too. So I might have to like circle back to the hair color. I'll probably just do like a gray to be honest. Eyelash color. Maybe just leave that black. That's kind of like a... I wouldn't call that eyelashes, honestly. Alright, hair. Alright, not much to choose from. Let's go through them. Can you rotate it at all? I don't think you can. It doesn't really give much, like, control direction. Oh, that's sort of cute. These are kind of like wings. Oh, that one's cute. I like that one with the flower. Oh, and look at that one. I think this one might be the winner. Okay, so it shows that like this one is a brown, but from what I see, it kind of has like a, a plum hue to it. Hi, Thicky! How are you tonight? Welcome in! I do like this color too, though. I'm probably gonna go with this gray. I'm doing pretty good. Just checking out Chill Town tonight. I've honestly, I wanted to try it when it like came out uh, three days ago. And I just haven't gotten around to it. And I was thinking about it all day today. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna play it when I get home. Oh, this is tough. So I like this orange because it kind of comes off as like a orangey pink. But I like the pink and I also like the gray. I might have to go <laughs> yeah yeah shy actually did them i don't know if she's still in the chat but she did the emotes i love them so much all right i'm gonna go with this one oh i could be like purple which shows as pink blue which kind of looks more gray the green kind of gives off like a I don't know what this color is but it's not really like green green okay I think I like this one this one's really nice she does Yeah, I love her work so much and like the models that she makes. I don't know, there's some talent there for sure. Okay, I think I like the little overalls. They're pretty cute. 21. Definitely a little bit older than that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with some overalls. 
glasses. Oh, cute. Okay, we're going with the glasses. I love your look, by the way, Ashley. So stylish. Dude, don't be a creep. Sorry, was that awkward to say? You think? Oh, dang, I just heard the pilot starting up the engine. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's get your luggage on board, Ashley. And once we're settled in our seats, it's time for that sweet, sweet coffee break. Ah. Uh, then we'll be in Shelltown in no time. Okay, so the character was actually really cute, like the little character customization. Okay, so right away, this is complete Animal Crossing vibes. Oh yeah, you're on your airplane, here's your little airport, come on. Tutu, next time we fly, can you please remind me to bring earplugs? You were snoring the entire time. Excuse you, Mimi, I will not be ashamed for my healthy sleeping patterns. The gentle lolling of the plane engine, my body's inexplicable tendency to get sleepy after drinking caffeine. It may have been the best sleep of my life. Right. Oh, Ashley, I nearly forgot. Welcome to Chilltown. Oh yeah, didn't the mayor want to speak with Ashley as soon as we arrived? Indeed, you're part of the first wave of residents to move onto the island, Ashley. Yeah, I think Mayor had some important city planning he wanted to discuss. I'm impressed you remember, Tutu. Looks like all that sleep helped your memory. You should try it sometime, Mimi. Shh. Enough of- enough out of you. Alright, Ashley, let's get you to the town square to speak with the mayor. That's what I was thinking! I'm like, wait, <laughs> that's not a healthy sleeping pattern. That actually means that, I don't know, isn't that like sleep apnea? I think it's like a sign that you could have sleep apnea, which could be pretty bad in the long run. But sure, it's, it's healthy, let's go with that. Okay, meet the mayor in the town square. Press the M button to access the town map. Use the map to navigate to your destination. Okay, use that to rotate. That's pretty nice. Press the escape button to open your journal. So we have the journal, a phone, our storage, the map, Emote, auto refresh maybe, save, unstuck, setting, and quick game. So these are everything that we have. I wonder, I guess I can't check out the emote yet, but I'm guessing it's like different emotes, like wave and maybe sit down and stuff like that. Use the journal to check for detailed information and rewards for the tasks. Meet the mirror. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're doing. So it looks like this is the run speed, and then if you hold down, so I'm playing like on keyboard, shifts make, shift makes you walk, and that's a very slow walk. Ooh, let's pick that up. So I'm glad that run is the um, default. <laughs> Good. That wasn't as long as a, of a walk as I was expecting. Oh, sir. Here's Ashley, the most recent resident to make landfall. You wanted to see them? Ah, yes. Greetings, Ashley. Your name is music to my ears. Come, come. I have so much to tell you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Otto. Though my esteemed colleagues here refer to me as the mayor of this picture picturesque Vista? I'm pretty sure we call you that because you are the mayor, sir. 
In truth, Ashley, I tend to think of myself as little more than an overgrown child with an ambition. Hey, me too, Otto. A lofty dream to build a paradise where visitors from all corners of the globe can retreat and relax. At least, that is my vision for Chilltown. It may take many moons before it comes into in fruition. However, progress occurs at what some might describe as tortoise-like speed here. Not to mention, I like to take my fair share of nap breaks, same as the next person. Here, here to that, sir. Late last year, I sent on a call to the universe for residents who value a chiller place, pace, and here you are. Chill Island may look rather humble right now, but I am certain with your assistance, along with help from more residents on their way this very second. This remarkable locale will develop into an idyllic home, its foundations built not on productivity, but tranquility. Gosh, I always get teary-eyed listening to the old mayor talking about this place. Hey, I'm not that old. I know how to chill just as much as the youth, right? Oh, of course, sir. Your chill skills are remarkable, sir. Oh, please. Anywho, Ashley, I do have some of the bad news. I'm afraid our accommodations are not yet that luxurious. But we'll build to that. We must always keep the dream alive, right? Darn straight. For now, I'll have our building crew construct you a tiny house where you can stay until we gather more resources for grander abodes. With you being part of our first wave of residents, you have the privilege of selecting where you want to lay your first foundation. How about you explore the island a little bit, get your toes in the dirt, fill out where you'd like to settle down. And take this to mark where you want the construction crew to construct your tiny house. Yay, we received a building permit. After that, meet me back at the town square entrance and we can go over your next steps. Excellent speech, sir. The best I've heard yet. Oh, give it a rest, Tutu. Have fun exploring, Ashley. Find a place to build your house. So I'm gonna get a desk, a wardrobe, a chair, and a bed. So pretty basic furniture. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of like the Animal Crossing games out there. Um, but I think just in general, like the very cozy, calming, like you forage, you fish, you catch bugs. I think there's just a lot of games like that in general right now, which isn't a bad thing, but sometimes it can be very overwhelming, especially when they're released like very close together and you don't really have the time to play them all. And some of them have like certain quirks about them that I just don't really vibe with. And it's been very hard to find another like game that I like as much as Animal Crossing, honestly. I caught a beach crab. Like Animal Crossing really has it all. And when I've, I watched just a little bit of like one other person play this game and I read a little bit about it and it's very similar, but it looks like there might be like farming and gardening and you can even, I guess, have pets and breed them. And I don't think there's really too many of the like farming foraging games that have incorporated the breeding yet. I'm kind of excited about that. Like, I really like games with pets, too. It is definitely the OG. A snail. And I hope they don't stop at New Horizons like whenever the next like Nintendo handheld comes out I hope they really are or at least consider bringing out another Animal Crossing game I love the music of this game I 
Okay, so I don't think, I think this is like my only area that I can choose a house. Unless I can wade through the water right here? No. Oh, thank you, Thicky. Enjoy drawing. Alright, I think I might build it. I don't have many options, but I think I might build it, like, right here in this little area. Catwalk. Can I choose any of them? Let's see, this one's kind of basic. This one's cute. This kind of looks like a beachside house. And these look more fancy. Can I go with like whatever one I want? Oh, it looks like I can. Okay, so to rotate, it's Q and E. I gotta find like where it's green. So it's green like right there. Hmm. I kinda want it like. Or maybe I want it facing this way, more towards like the beach and the airport? No. I think I'll do it right here. <laughs> That's so nice of you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, that went by fast. Okay, I think I said the crew is going to start building. But I think that's a very cute little place. What is this? Can I pick this up? Oh, wait. I'm still in my catalog. What was that? Was that? Oh, it's a gold nugget. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Put my house down. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Ashley. Isn't the sea air so refreshing here? It gives new life to my city grown bones. Now then, did you have a chance to decide where you wanted to stay? Yes. Good. Chill Island is such a beauty, wouldn't you agree? We're so lucky to have found it uninhibited and perfect for our laid-back community, though there are some pesky details around logistics we must discuss. Ugh, why does everything always have to have pesky details? Ah, come now, Tutu. It's not that bad. Your tiny house is included in your travel package through Avant Guardian Travels. Ah, now there's a perk to write home about. But going forward, you'll be on your own to earn resources to pay for more upgrades and additions to your estate. Don't you worry, though, Ashley. The island supports us in many ways. And as you wait for the construction crew to finish building your tiny house, you can stay at Hotel Misty in town. I chatted with the good staff there, and they've agreed to let you stay for a few days. Aww, that's so nice of them! Ashley, you definitely have to try the food at Ches Cal Calmo? Calmo? It's delicious! Oh, Tutu, you'd think grass was delicious if you could stuff your face with it. Here, Ashley, take this letter of recommendation to the hotel staff and you'll be all set. With my signature at the bottom, it carries the highest. Okay, it carries the highest. <laughs> Yay! In the meantime, I'm going to head back to Town Hall. Usually around this hour, the city planner set out donuts. Mmm. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about the residents on the island so far. My door is always open, letting in the ocean air. And most importantly, welcome to Chilltown, Ashley. The island is your oyster. Welcome in! Thank you for the lurk! 
There is a lurk command. Get your lurk on. Alright, let's check in at the motel. Oh, right here. Thank you. I hope you have a nice night and thank you for stopping in. I appreciate your company tonight. Hello, welcome to Hotel Misty. How may we be of service? I have a letter of recommendation from Mayor Otto. Ah, yes, you must be Ashley. We're so happy to meet you. Mayor Otto informed us your new house is under construction for a few days, but we're more than happy to host you while you wait. We here at Hotel Misty pride ourselves on our hospitality to all tourists and residents. Please allow us to take your things and show you to your room. We've the seaside suite for you. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Do you want to check into a room? Yes. Here is your key. Have a good time here. You can tailor your music to match your mood by accessing as, yeah, accessing the music player. Press escape to open your mobile phone. Music. Oh my goodness. This is lonely music. So we have cozy town, kawaii and happiness, lonely. Pal vibe and cozy town. This is actually really neat. Even though I'm really feeling the lonely music, I think it's kind of sad that it's lonely. So let's check out. Let's see, pal vibe. Oh, these might be a little bit too upbeat. Let's go back. I have no idea what song we were on. This is so neat though. Like there's all of these playlists depending on your mood. And you can just go through them and play them. I have not seen a game incorporate this like, incorporate this yet. If you have, please let me know what game what other game has this because this is brilliant lie down I love that so much All right, so it's day two seven o'clock in the morning Oh, hello there. You must be Ashley. I've heard so much about you already from Mayor Otto. Pardon the smell. I just finished up prepping for tonight's calamari menu. But where are my manners? My name is Cora, and I'm the head chef here at Chez Calmo. I'm just gonna say it like Calmo, even though it looks like Calmo. But that doesn't roll off the tongue as easy as Calmo. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. How about we get to know each other over a cooking session? I have a little surprise for you. Great, now take this. Ooh, two eggs. Unlocked omelet recipe. Over there is the hotel kitchen. Let's make a delicious omelet out of this humble ingredient. Since you're new in town, I imagine you might not have a fully set up kitchen just yet. No worries, the hotel kitchen is at your disposal. It'll be a fun experience. Head over there, I'll guide you through the process how to cook the omelet. All right, so there's cooking in this game. All right, so we're gonna cook omelet. Yes. Continue. 
can I make another omelet? Oh no, I guess I just needed to make one. I thought it was going to be a lot more advanced than that. I thought it was going to be like... Yeah, I do have one. I just decided it was just going to be my voice tonight. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm eagerly anticipating your culinary creation. Oh my goodness, this omelet is simply divine. You have a natural talent for cooking. I can see great potential in you becoming a fantastic chef. As a token of my appreciation, please take the stove. It'll be a value valuable addition to your kitchen whenever you have it set up. <laughs> can you imagine just cooking somebody an omelet and they're like, this is so good. Have a whole freaking stove. <laughs> like, okay. Let me just get my trailer. <laughs> oh, and here's a little tip. When you're ready to set up your kitchen, place the stove there and use the brand new pot you just bought to cook your meals. If you happen to create any new dishes, do bring them to me. I'd love to see what culinary wonders you come up with. By the way, if you don't have a pot yet, you might want to visit the local grocery store in town. They usually have a great selection of kitchen supplies, including pots and pans. Just head over there and I'm sure you'll find the perfect pot to complement your new stove. Happy cooking! What are your thoughts on fishing from a chef's point of view? Fishing? It's great! What's better than relaxing on the beach and going home with fresh protein? Luckily, the island has plenty of fish in these waters. If you can cook it fast enough without needing to freeze it, that's even better. If you don't know how to fish, you should find my husband, Do. He'll give you a lesson or two on fishing. You should be able to find him somewhere near the harbor if I had to guess. That man can be difficult to track down sometimes. Alright, let's go find Do. So we can fish. Fishing is one of my favorite things to do in these types of games. Even though I still don't think I ever completed the Animal Crossing, um, like, you know how you can complete your collection? I don't think I've yet to complete the Animal Crossing one. And it really happened when they brought in the diving aspect, because I think there's still so much that I haven't found while diving. Let's go find Dew. If I had to guess... Ooh, mushrooms! If I had to guess, this is Dew. Hi, your wife said you might have some fishing advice to share with me. Ah, I thought I overheard old Otto talking about a new resident. Is that you? Well, welcome to Chill Town, I suppose. Sorry, I ain't much of a fancy welcome committee. Though, I'm sure my wife, Cora, showed you plenty hospitality when you arrived. She sure is lovely, ain't she? Aww. Sir? Ah, sorry. It's easy to get distracted out here. So, fishing, eh? Well, of course. I'd be willing to give you some pointers, but you don't even got a fishing rod yet. Go find five tree branches and then come back here. I'll show you how to turn it into a simple fishing rod. Where can I find some tree branches? Oh, you can use a simple axe to cut down a tree. Here, I just got done making this one. It's nothing fancy, just a dinky hatchet made of wood and stones, but it should do the trick for what you need. Press tab to access your pocket. Axe, equip. Ah. And then I can just cycle through. Wonderful. Oops.
So each whack of the axe just automatically gives you stuff. It looks like these like, I guess this tree's a little different. The other one gave me wood and these branches. And this one only gave me some branches. Now looking at my character, she looks kind of evil. <laughs> Maybe I should have done something different. Well, look at that. You found a tree branch all on your own. Wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you watch what I do, bend it here, twist it there, and voila! You got yourself a brand new fishing rod. Truth be told, it is a little on the rustic side, but no bother. Here, take these too. I don't need them anymore. Now you'll be all set to start catching some fish. Ah, what is it now? Not too happy with my handiwork on that fishing rod? I didn't promise any miracles. It'll be good enough to catch you some of the island's simpler, smaller fish. But if you really want to go angling for the kings of the water, you'll need something more durable. Have you talked with Minato yet? He's an odd fellow, but he's an expert fisherman, better than even yours truly. He'll have some proper fishing hardware for sale up at his shop near Lake Serenity. I've told you all my brain knows about fishing. If you got more questions, ask Minato up at his place near Lake Serenity. <laughs> He's like, please don't talk to me anymore. I'm just gonna disappear. Okay, I don't think... I'm not... No, I can't start all these side quests. I have to go find Monado. <laughs> you don't look like an expert fisherman. Ooh, what is this? Is that just like a brick? A planter! Lake Serenity, huh? What if that was Monado? <laughs> that little kid. God, I'm gonna have... So many snails in my pocket. Uh, I guess I only have two. <laughs> I feel like I picked up a lot more than two snails. Oh, another planter. Oh, that was a coffee table. Oh, so, so the the square things are like furniture, like the leaves and Animal Crossing. So it could be anything when you see those little square things. Oh my god, guys, what if that was Minato? Because I don't see... I don't see another person. Unless he's up by, like, the town square place? This, this can't be Minato over here. This is, this is Cuckoo, clearly. Have a passport. Okay, that's fine. I don't need you, anyways. All right, I'm gonna talk to the little kid. Cause it says up oh, by Lake Serenity. Oh, this is probably Monado right there. But I can't get over that. Maybe I have to, maybe I do have to talk to him and then he'll like help me get over the bridge. What are you doing getting your hands all dirty? Well, I was running to the town square to see what's new in the market, but I saw something sparkling in the ground. I could have just keep walking once my eye spotted something shiny, you know? What kind of an explorer would I be without some investi- Invest investigation. So I've been trying to dig it out, but the dirt is too well packed for my bare hands. If only I had a shovel. Hey, you're not doing anything. Could you find a shovel for me? You'd be my best friend. Pretty please. 
I guess that's a yes. I have no choice. I have to give this guy a shovel. I have no friends. This boy is going to be my best friend now. Buy a shovel. Oh, I can't even just make him a shovel. I have to spend like my hard earned invisible money. I don't even know if I've gotten any money. All right. Where do I get this freaking shovel from? Ah, Ashley, there you are. We were just expecting you. Okay. Well, don't keep me too long, because I have to find a shovel. And I gotta figure out how to get over to Monado, I think was his name. Well, howdy, Ashley. Grab a seat, partner, because I've got something mighty exciting to share. You know, Mayor gave me the green light to a project that's going to put Chilltown on the map, and guess what? I want you on board. Sounds interesting. Tell me more. This project is big, ground shaken, and we need some community spirit to make it happen. That's where you come in, Ashley. We're looking for generous hearts to pitch in 15,000 seal, seal, kill, each. I know, it sounds like a heat, but trust me, it's for something extraordinary. 15,000, you say. I wonder how long it takes to get that. Oh, look at you. I can tell you've already been to Hotel Misty. Aren't the beds there so squishy and comfy? You're looking more and more refreshed by the second, becoming one of the island. You know what? I think you're right, Mare. But I can see it on your face. You must be wondering what to do while you wait for your house to be built. Mimi, would you like to tell Ashley? Um, go to the beach and listen to lo-fi tracks on your headphones for hours? Well, that's certainly always a possibility. But I was thinking more along the lines of getting acquainted with your new neighbors. Ah, right. Yeah, the residents here are pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Now, I must tell you, Ashley, most of the current residents were part of the original exploration party to Chill Island. And these first residents wanted to stay so bad, they each took up a unique profession in town to make the city function smoothly. I still don't know how any of them were crazy enough to come here on their own. I can barely swing a hammer, let alone survive in the wild. But it's true. You have Cora, the restaurant manager, Du, the outdoorsman, Rosa, the flower girl, Monado, the fishing port manager, Micah, the merchant, and of course, all the harbor staff. Feel free to get to know them to your heart's content. And explore whatever activities you'd like to test out around the island. Of course, if you're shy and want more information on anyone in town, just feel free to ask. I'm heading back to my desk, Mayor. Let me know if you need anything. Ah, settled in, I see. Splendid, splendid. Our cozy island thrives on goodwill, my dear friend. Every act you do, welcoming new neighbors, helping around town, it's all a stitch in our communal tapestry. Oh, I love that. I actually love that saying. It's all a stitch in our communal, ta communal tapestry. We've devised a nifty way to reward such deeds, you see. Contribution points, or CP, yes, that's the term they're calling it, to make sure your efforts don't go unnoticed. Check your phone, Ashley. I've taken the liberty of sending you a new app, the Dewdrop Diary. It's your personal CP tally, keeps record of all your good deeds. And Dewdrop Diary isn't just for CP, mind you. It's your journal, your badge of honor, a testament to all your island achievements. It'll help you weave your own tale here. But the real fun? It's what you can do with those CP at our humble general store. 
you can choose from a wide selection of interior and exterior furnishings, clothing, toys, and technolo technological items. Quite the array of choices, eh? Every stitch matters here, and I can't wait to see your tapestry grow. Good luck and Godspeed, Ashley. That is so sweet. I like this idea of a tapestry. Whether or not it's like an actual tapestry or if it's just a figure of speech, I really like that. So let's go on my phone. Stamp. Oh, so yeah, this is, again, very, very similar to Animal Crossing. So you have like your insect hunter, buying stuff for retail therapy, making furniture, making tools, cooking, fishing. Maybe this is like cooking fish and this is fishing. Vegetable gardening. I love it. Alright, so I still need to buy a shovel and then I still have to contribute 15,000, which I'm sure I'll figure out how to do that. Alright, let's leave. And actually, I will be right back, guys.
Okay, I am back guys. Thank you so much for waiting. I just had to take my night meds. I'm not gonna stray away from saying that because I do very much believe that your health is important. Okay, so I have to go buy a shovel. Right, I have to figure out who I'm gonna buy this from. Uh oh, hold on, I see an exclamation point. Hey there, I'm Rosa. I'm a botanist selling flowers and bonsai trees here. Nice to meet you, a new player. If you're into plants and want to explore the world of greenery, come visit my booth. I hope I can help you find the perfect plant. Welcome back, can I help you? Um, probably not. <laughs> I really need a shovel. And I, unless you have a shovel actually for like plant stuff. Um, right now I've got a few bonsai pots for sale, but my last batch has been all picked over by tourists. We've had so many shoppers coming through the island lately. Don't worry though, I'm working on growing a new batch as we speak, but it'll take a little while before they're ready. In the meantime, I'm trying to add more variety to my flower selection. Unfortunately, my seed stash is running a little low and I'm waiting on a delivery from the mainland. But wait, I just had an amazing idea. If you can help me find seven new flower varieties, I'll make sure you get first pick of my bonsai pots and tulip bulbs when they're back in stock. Among, among the seven new flower varieties I'm looking for, one is a native wildflower of our island, so please explore the surroundings to find it. Please, bring me this special wildflower first. I'll express my gratitude by giving you a stylish fence design, perfect for enhancing your garden or securing your home. And when you have the opportunity to explore deserted islands, please try to find the other six types of flowers and bring them back to me. What do you say? Are you up for the challenge? Sure. <laughs> That's my only option. Sure. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing, Ashley. I can't wait to see what you can find. Oh, okay, never mind. These are, I thought I had to find 10 of each. Okay, so I have to find all the flowers. Okay, yes, but where's the shovel? <laughs> That's what I need. It's getting late. Hi, I'm Micah. I heard you're new in town. As a businesswoman at the local market, I'm delighted to meet you and offer you some great products. Swing by my stall whenever you get the chance. Welcome, can I help you? Okay, what do you sell? Yeah, so wooden shovel. No, just buy one. What else do you sell? Cheese grilled lobster, gross. Egg, potato, tomato, writing desk, barrier, barrier pole. Sorry, who wants to decorate their place like this? Bench, bus stop, cafe. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff. All right. Oh, how cute though. So we have like a <laughs> porta potty. We have like the different recycling bins, trash cans. Look at these. Oh, I love these. You have like the, like a standing planter thing, a raised bed, a trellis, different lamps to choose from. Different fountains. Dang, there's actually a lot so far. And to think like this is still just like early access items, I wonder how much more they're going to add to this. Oh, you're buying a shovel? Are you planning on doing some digging? Maybe plant something? Sure. That's what I thought. Shovels bring back memories of my daddy, Thomas. His... Oh, Thomas, his name was. 
He was a true farmer at heart, always tending to his crops and animals. His farm was back on the mainland, a beauty everyone in the southwest region knew far and wide. Rows upon rows of shining vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, not to mention the smell of fresh, juicy strawberries and watermelons. Anyways, sorry for the giveaway, I'm just excited to see someone as excited about farming as my daddy was. I wonder... Okay, let me go give this boy his shovel, but I probably need to be going to sleep soon. Oh, I just noticed in the bottom left-hand corner, it tells you what song is playing. Which is super convenient, so you can kind of like learn the names of the songs and you're like, well, I want to listen to Radiant Twilight on repeat for five hours. Wait, can it be? You actually got a shovel? But no one has ever done anything I've asked them. This must mean I'm the most powerful kid in the world. This is an amazing development on my way to becoming a real explorer. But enough waiting. Let's see what we can get. All you gotta do is find something sparkling in the ground and dig it up. You better show me whatever you find too. We are ex excavation partners after all now. Ooh. I see shiny. All right, so we tap. Oh, it automatically went in my inventory. Very nice. All right, so dig. Let's see, do we see any other shinies? Oh, I just needed to do it once. I thought for some reason there was gonna be two shinies. Whoa! It's so freaking cool! You found that in the ground? You'll definitely be able to sell that for a good amount in town. Since you dug it up yourself, you should keep it. Good work, exca excavation partner. It's <laughs> just like that, he's gone. Okay, bye. All right, so it's 6.50. All right, well, let's forage a little bit, see if there's like anything around here. Oh, wait, is this Monado? Please pick up the snail. I think this is Monado. Oh no, this is Dew. How's your day of exploring going so far? Another snail. Through the bush. Okay, an iron nugget. Let's go get this. Um... Oh, it's a seagull. I thought this was a fish. Even still, that seagull looked a bit, a bit strange. I wonder if you can, like, run out of energy. Or we can just go and go and go. I'd say the length of the day. <gasps> what are you? Yay, I caught plant a kid. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I just stick him in my pocket. An endearing little being with a sweet and innocent demeanor. Oh, I want more. Anyways, um, I think that the length of the day is very nice. Some games, Cough Cough Stardew Valley, can be very short. And I feel like I don't have enough time in the day to do what I want to do. But this has been like a pretty lengthy day. Okay, I 
think. Oh, I can't pick that up. Alright, I think I've foraged enough. So let's go. I'm guessing to sleep. Hold on, let me talk to her first. Welcome back to my mercantile? Mercantile? What can I do for you? Ah, you're eager to learn about farming, eh? Well, you've come to the right person. I picked up a thing or two from my papa back in the day. He was a farmer, you see, so I suppose I can show you the basics. First things first, you can use a shovel to dig a hole and plant a seed, or you can plant a tree and cover it with soil. Now, most plants can grow on their own, but a daily watering will help the plant grow healthier and produce the most perfect crops. And trust me, those perfect crops are something special. They can be used to make all sorts of delicious recipes, and you'll have the residents of the island talking about your culinary skills. To get started, I'll give you 10 tomatoes and 10 potatoes to plant. As a little incentive, once you finish planting these, I'll give you old keeps an old keepsake of mine that should help with your future farming endeavors. Is it a watering can? But I won't say what it is until you're done, so go on and get your hands dirty. I bet it's a watering can. Okay, do I want to do this like next to my house? Or do I want to, like, start a little farm up here? That'd be kind of cute, like a wild farm up there. Or should I save that for something else that I don't know yet? Hmm. Maybe I'll just do it, like, in this little clearing, maybe. Okay, so I think I had, what, was it ten of each? So I have to make... 20 holes. Oh, this is kind of... Okay, there we go. Oh! What did you just do? Okay. difficult to get them like in the right spot. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. <laughs> Maybe I want to do this a little bit different. Because this is kind of like a very long... Oh goodness. This is like a not a good area at all. I'm very space constricted here. So we're just gonna go elsewhere. I guess I could really like do it. Here, this is actually like a lot better. So those are going to be for the 10 
like tomatoes. And then I've got to do 10, or no, those are going to be for the 10 tomatoes. I think I said five. And then I'm going to do the 10 potatoes over here. I'd say it's a tad bit difficult to get it like in the right spot. But that's a control that, you know, they can always work on in the future. Alright, so we're gonna plant. Oh, that was easy. I wonder if you even truly have to sleep in this game, or if you can just keep going. Because it's 10 o'clock and I have not received like any warning yet. Like a tired warning. Ready to go get the secret item that I'm for sure is a watering can. Ah, howdy. Welcome back to my mercantile. What can I do for you? What can I do you for? Wow, you don't say. Well, a deal is a deal. Here's an old keepsake of mine that I think you'll find comes in quite handy. A watering can! How'd I know? That should help you speed up your watering process. Oh, and one last thing. If you ever go out and about exploring on different islands, be sure to bring back any new plants and crops you find to plant. Once they're harvested, you can sell them to me, and I'll make sure they find their way to the residents and tourists of our little town. Good job and happy farming. So can I go water my crops? No, it doesn't show that I can. All right, I think I should probably go to bed now. So let's go back. I wonder if there's certain like bugs and fish or anything that only come out at night as opposed to during the day. Welcome back to Chaz Calmo, Ashley. What can I get for you today? Someone said you recently had a surprise guest. Oh, you heard? Well, I'm so glad you asked. You see, the guest isn't a person, actually. I have a stray kitten who has been coming around, but I think they need a real home. I've been taking care of her for a while now, but I think it's time she have a permanent family. Is that something you'd be interested in? Um, yes. That's great to hear. Here's the thing though, this kitten is a little picky when it comes to food, so you're going to need to gather some special ingredients to order, in order to keep her well fed. Ah, I love your attitude, Ashley. I tell her to jump and you a I tell you to jump and you ask me how high. Okay. I don't know about that statement. <laughs> that seems I'm not gonna comment on that. Ooh, you're crocheting. What are you gonna what are you working on tonight? Yeah, that cat is it's a no-brainer. Of course I want a kitten. As for my furry friend, she appears to be a real sea foodie. 
How about if you go out and catch five fish and bring them back here? That way, we'll see if she appreciates your haul and if the two of you are a good match. Don't worry, I have faith in you. Your third attempt at a sweater for your cat? I love that. So when you say third attempt, is it because the first two didn't fit right? Also, I have to know, like, what color is it? Is it a turtleneck? Does it have sleeves? Plant a visual of this sweater. Because I have so many ideas in my head right now. The first one was too small and the second was too big. Okay, so the third is gonna be just right. I'm totally imagining like a little turtleneck, but I highly doubt my imagination is correct. All right, kind of seems like there's like no fish at night. So I might have to go to sleep. Oh no, here's one. Is that a fish? Yeah. This is straight up an Animal Crossing like animation. Yay, I caught Frontoso. Fr Frontosa? Blue. We had to shave one of our cats because she hates being brushed and she had mats, but it's been cold. She's old and grumpy and dislikes being touched so much, so I'm I'm gonna try to make it nice and simple to put on her. Aww. Well, I do hope that it's just the right fit, and I hope it's not too much trouble getting it on her. Aww, poor grumpy kitty, though. Alright, so it's 12.38 to 12.40. Still no, you gotta go to sleep warning. Certainly I can't just go on forever without sleeping though. I mean, I guess maybe. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, here's another fish. They're kind of hard to see. Oops. Too soon. These seagulls, they're tripping me out. They look like fish flopping on the sand. Okay, let's go to sleep. Maybe there'll be more fish during the day. As slow as I walk, it's gonna take me like 30 real life minutes just to go around my island and catch these fish. Joke's on me, it's gonna be just as bad during the day. If I can go to sleep, that is. I wonder if I can just, yeah, I can just walk on through. Oh, this is, mm, no, I don't want the kitchen. I don't think I can go to sleep. Because this takes me to the kitchen. I think I have to find these fish. Oh, maybe I have to talk to the receptionist. Here we go, check into room. All right, let's lie down. All right, 
right, let's keep going fishing. I think I'm gonna try out a different soundtrack on here because I feel like we've restarted the lonely playlist. So let's, what was it under music? Pal vibe, let's do Cozy Town. There's only five songs, but. Oh, and is it my, was my house done today? That's a little loud. Oh, heck yeah. Interior decoration can also be completed through construction mode. Press C to activate it. This is my, oh, yes, let's put my oven. See, I was, oh, maybe I shouldn't say anything until I place it. Do I want it like right in front of the window? Why not? Oh, I guess there is like a little bit of a space. Alright, this. It is. Okay, I don't like this. Um, I was not feeling that song. Yeah, it is. Like, it has a lot of the same concepts, really. Some of the uh, reviews that I was reading, it was saying that, like, the furniture placement in the house was a little bit frustrating because it has, like, that gap between the furniture and the wall which yeah there's a gap but I don't think it's like that bad plus you have to think like they could always make adjustments and make it so you could put it flush against the wall and I wonder if you'll be able to expand your house oh have you been getting back into it that's exciting it's one of those games that you can like pick it up and you just get sucked right back into it. And one thing I kind of like about like um, New Horizons as opposed to New Leaf, I don't know if you ever played New Leaf, but like if you didn't play New Leaf for a little bit, if you got back on, you kind of had this fear that one of your villagers or islanders moved away but in New Horizons, they're there to stay and you could literally go like six months or a year without playing and they're still going to be there. Like, I think that's really nice to come back to and it really gets rid of the... that fear. Because then with New Leaf, you kind of feel obligated to always get on if you want to keep, all, like, if you want to keep everybody. Okay, so I did the first one just right. stuck. Oh no. <laughs> well, this isn't good. I can't even switch between my, um, like my tools and stuff. Unstuck, please. Well, this might be a good spot to end it, because um, it's 9.30 here for me, 
and I'm, I have to be going to bed soon. As much as I really want to keep playing this game, but I think this is a sign that I should probably get off for the night. <laughs> it's early access, guys. There's going to be bugs, but this is just too funny to me. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I do hope that you have a good night if it's nighttime, and I hope you have a good day if it's morning day, if <laughs> morning day, if it's morning or midday for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your company tonight, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs> yes, yeah, she really is. She's just round and round. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to quit the game. Alright, good night guys.